Hello and welcome to Urban Empire. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a wonderful day because this is a city builder like no other that I'm playing on the channel currently. It is a political city builder in that every decision I make has to go through what is effectively Congress. Everything will be put to the vote. New policies, new edicts, new districts, you name it, it probably goes to Congress, goes to the parties, and they will probably vote on it. So, without too much ado, let's begin with a new game and a new campaign. There are four families to pick from, the Von Filsons, that one, the Kilgannons, and that one. I'm gonna play as the Kilgannons because they are respected heroes of the people with dedication that has made them very popular. Their contributions to society are much appreciated, but this benevolence tends to lead to increased building prices. I like the idea of the Kilgannons. They're also Irish, so that's fairly fitting considering I'm where I'm from. Uh, we do have the Von Filsons who are traditionalists believing in social hierarchy and the people's need for stability in a changing world. I don't want to play as a traditionalist though. We have notor notorious risk takers both in their personal and professional lives often seeming aloof and alienated from the gritty reality and needs of the people. And we have these guys who have never really dabbled in politics and have no experience in it but sometimes disruptive forces will come from surprising sources. This one feels a bit too real at the moment. So we're gonna go with the grounded Irish farmer, basically. So I'm gonna be playing as Connor Kilgannon. Connor grew up working alongside his famous father, Patrick Kilgannon. His father's trusted aide, he grew to care about his co-workers well-being. When the Emperor of Austria calls upon Ireland, called upon Ireland's best foreman, famous for his efficiency and low death rate on construction sites, to supervise the founding of a new city, Patrick declines politely and instead sends his son. Yeah. So, Connor is an optimist, he is honest, and the Emperor's nominee. And that's all we need to know. There are three maps to pick from. I'm gonna go with the first one because I played this one on a live stream. I haven't touched this one and uh, we have this one as the first one. If you wanna read about those maps, just pause, you know, go back through the video and pause when the text was on screen because it really doesn't matter. So we're gonna start our campaign. Like I said, this is a political city building game. It is challenging, but it gets especially challenging later down the line once we enter era three which is when you're getting towards the end of the 1800s, because era three is when people start to vote on the mayor. That's when you really have to make sure that the other political parties and the people like you. Anyway, you are Connor Kilgannon, son of a famous Patrick Kilgannon, who supervised the construction of, Gra of the Grand Canal of Dublin with a record low death toll. The Emperor of Austria wants to build a new city to connect Vienna to the Adriatic Ocean and invited your father to manage the construction, but being old and ill, he sent his right-hand man, me, instead. I'm granted 500,000, I'm gonna call it dollars for the sake of it, to set the foundations of the new city, which I am gonna call, I'm actually gonna call it Kilgannon. Because that's very, that, that sounds like an Irish town name, so it's gonna be called Kilgannon. Uh, and we're gonna found our first district, uh, which is done through this tool here. And I'm just gonna find it like right in the middle, since that's kind of the easiest way to do it. So we'll do that. And uh, that's not so bad. I wanna go with some dense road grids there. It's gonna cost me 248,000 and then 29,000 per month. That's fine. The 248,000 is gonna have to come out of my personal bank account because there isn't an established uh, city yet. So we do need to add a city hall to this area. Uh, we'll go ahead and do so just there. And then we can confirm. We have all the details, 60% residential, 10% commercial, 30% industry with the city hall service, some road infrastructure, and then the road capacity is 18,000, the cost 273 and then 34 per month. So that's fine. We'll propose the district to the council. It's gonna be called uh, that. And uh, we're gonna have to use personal funds to establish this. Now that we've done that, we do need to go ahead and pick a research objective from the Progress Cloud. 
which I'm thinking is going to be safety authorities because that's going to get me things like policing and medical care and fire coverage. It also gets me uh, some edicts such as safety authorities, which is going to reduce the running costs of healthcare facilities, but increase their quality. We have the Work Safety Act. You can imagine what that is. And you can imagine what the rest of these are as well. This unlocks the clinic, which again is healthcare. So we're going to begin researching that. Go back to the city view. And we are still paused. And the reason we're still paused is I just want to show you about the UI for a moment so you can get an idea of uh, of what's going on. So up here is my party support. This is obviously the support of the various political parties. Currently, this early in the game, there are three of them. The Physiocratic Party, the Free Democratic Party, and the National Swarelian Party. All of which like me with a plus four rating. This is my prestige. Prestige is something that I can use to effectively overrule some party decisions. I can use it to have votes go through quite quickly. I can use it to my benefit in uh, in Congress. This is brain power, which is how quickly we will research something. And it can be obtained by building new educational services and institutions such as schools or universities. This is my personal fund. I'm getting $1,001 every month. And this can be used to pass proposals, it can be used to pay for new districts and things like that, kind of the way we paid for this initial district. Um, but we can, you know, use this to our benefit if needs be. Something that can often be done that I have done with this game already is use my personal funds to bypass Congress because the game will show you roughly what way a vote is going to go. And you can fight to have a vote go your way. You can fight Congress and say, no, I want this vote to go my way. You can try and persuade them. You can demand. You can threaten. If you have something you can bribe them with, you can use that to try and get a party to go one way or another. Or if you don't want to put up that fight and you have the personal funds, you can just pay for it yourself and get around them. So that's what personal funds are. Then you, of course, have the city money, which is the city funds, which is brought in from, from taxes, from edicts, from this and from that. I'm sure you get the idea. Uh, this is city happiness, fairly self-explanatory. City average social life, again, city average security. Average physical environment is just environment. City average health, average personal growth, average fun, and monthly budget balance, which is the income. It's either going to be minus something if you're losing money every month, or just positive something if you're making money every month. Up here we have the demand for RCI, which is residential, commercial, industrial. We have the era that we're in, the population. This is what we're researching. This is me. And then alerts will pop up down this way. For the rest of it, we'll just deal with it when we get to it. So let's unpause the game. And as you can see, this area here is starting to develop, which is good. And you'll notice that we are currently losing some money, which is definitely a problem. But it looks like it might, might even itself out. We might be able to start making a little bit of money. We are already making money. Good. That's exactly what I want to see. So if we zoom in just a little bit, we can see that uh, this area is actually doing okay for itself. There's quite a few people here. We do have something that needs to go through Congress. Actually, no, this is just a decision that I have to make. The administration is preparing for the establishment of professional safety authorities. I want to focus on clinics, which is going to give a bonus to health clinics of plus one, and the change in monthly city fund expenses uh, to the clinic of that. So we should be fine. Uh, so we are now making a little bit of money. We have actually got some considerable demand for industry at the moment. Which has me curious as to whether or not it would be worth going ahead and uh, zoning a new area. But that would probably be a bit too pricey. Now there is a lack of confidence here. The physiocratic party councillors complain that the Free Democratic Party is untrustworthy. My response is going to be to assure them that the Free Democratic Party can be trusted. And the Physiocrats actually trust the Free Democrats more. And I got a appreciation bonus to that party, which is good. So that's not so bad. Uh, let's see then. So we still have, we have a little bit of commercial demand as well. Maybe it would be worth going ahead and getting another district. It might very well be worth doing that. We could quite easily go ahead and bring a district from there to, say, there. Which 
isn't a terrible size. That might not be so bad. $235,000. We can probably afford that. Uh, well, we can afford that. I could also afford that from my personal funds. The $27,000 a month is a bit risky. But I reckon if we go with a dense grid. And I'm going to give... I'm going to... I'm gonna try this. We could throw a grammar school in there, which is gonna bring uh, us a plus four to the personal growth. It's also gonna bring us education, and it's gonna bring us some bonuses to brain power as well. Might be worth adding a grammar school into the middle there. Although it might be worth adding it there. Let's take a risk. Let's add a grammar school to this, confirm the service. Uh, we can propose the district, and as you can see, this is the first vote that is going to go through uh, the Congress, basically. So, what's going to happen is we're going to have one, you know, th this is where the parties currently sit. Uh, we'll actually go for a normal vote, and we'll go into Congress, and we'll have a look, a better look at this. So, what we have is a vote currently in Congress. We have the Free Democratic Party, who are just about going to approve it. They have 26 council members. We have the National Swirelian Party with seven council members definitely going to approve this. And the Physiocratic Party with 28 members also definitely going to approve this. They are supportive of the health service. These guys are supportive of education services. And these guys are supportive of, supportive of security services. So, this is easy. This is going to go through. The numbers here are basically how many members of Congress have said, I am not going to support this. The green one is how many have already said, I am going to support this. And 42, this number, is the undecided. But with the parties all sort of aligning themselves towards approve, there's no real need to worry. We've already, uh, we're already outnumbering the uh, against with the approved. We're going to be fine. So what we can do is close that, and what we can actually do is have a, a little look right away at uh, edicts, which there's currently none available. We could look at taxing. We could bring business taxes up a little bit to bring us a little bit more money. And I'm thinking of going to about 12% on business taxes. Now down here, you're going to see what kind of fight we're going to have. If I try and bring citizen taxes up to that as well, you can see here where the parties lie. So the Free Democratic Party are neither strongly conservative or liberal, but they're right-wing. And right-wing parties are less inclined to really support these changes. The National Swirlians are middle of the road, and then the Physiocrats are just on the line. The Physiocrats will probably align with my wishes to raise taxes. I am going to propose it. So yeah, the Physiocrats are approving it. They are going to say, yes, absolutely, we will help you raise taxes. The problem is that there is a very, very, very slight bias towards approve. Because we have a big party like the Free Democrats saying, no, we're probably going to swing swing to against. The National Swirlians, there are seven of them. If we can get them to vote to approve this, then we don't need to worry about the Free Democrats. So we're going to use the goodwill that we have here and we're going to plead with them and we're going to voice my opinion in the city council. In fact, we'll arrange a private meeting with the party chairman and that was enough to swing them towards my, my side. So we are probably not going to need to worry. It does still say 9 to 10, but if we give it a month, we should be able to go back into the city council. And we should be able to look at the new district, not the new district, this... Actually, no, that is still fairly middle of the road. We should be fine, though. And what's more is, as time goes by, the parties will appeal themselves. So we will likely see... Yeah. So looking at taxes, these guys are actually more towards the center than they previously were. There's a lot more people saying, yes, we're going to approve this. And with the new district... Similar story, we're going to have no problem getting that through. So we're going to speed up the game a little bit. And uh, it looks like both of these votes are going to be in at the same time, which they are. We also have safety authorities at the same time as well. So from safety authorities, I want to go for 
the Telegraph. Or do I? It will give us newspapers. It will give us the shoe store. Spread selection. Oh, this is what I want, actually. I want to be able to decide whether or not we have industry, commercial, residential in a district. I do like that. Thermodynamics gives me none of that. Gas infrastructure gives me none of that. Rights of man, none of that. Density selection is an important one as well. But that actually doesn't lead on from this. No, we're going to go for telegraph because spread selection is very important to have. So we have the vote on modifying taxes. We will begin voting. And as you can see, all three parties in the majority line, align themselves with approve. There were 23 people in the physiocrats that approved it. Five voted against. 18 to 8 in the free democrats. And 6 to 1 in the national Swirelians. But that is fine. So the vote has been passed to raise taxes by 2% for everyone, and that's fine. The vote for the new district, again, similar story. Everyone is going to align, for the most part, with approving the new district. So the vote has been passed. Beautiful. So if we go back to here, this district is now going to build itself up. It is going to cost us some money initially, but that's fine. We should be able to make that money back when the district fills up a bit. Now we have some praises. The Free Democratic Party chairman praises your character in a newspaper interview. I will call him and return the pleasantries, which has brought me two points of goodwill with the Free Democratic Party. That's actually very, very good news, because if I go to here and I click on them, I have four points of goodwill. No, that's the National Swirlians. Uh, there. So we have six points of goodwill. We have goodwill with all of them. That's fine. Going back to the city view and speeding things up, we will notice that uh, the Physiocratic Party wins the election. Okay, so the Physiocrats are now in charge. That's fine. Uh, can I see my money get into the positive, please? It looks like it might float. It might float a little bit. No. That seems fine. That's totally fine. Uh, let's have a look at the telegraph down here then. So... The city administration is formulating regulations on telegraph usage as the city is about to be connected to the continental telegraph network. Do I prioritize municipal usage, which I believe is stuff like services, or private use? I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say municipal, I think, which brings the monthly city fund expenses of the post office down? I don't know. It brings it up. I really don't know. Bonus to security. Up a little bit. That's fine. Ooh. Ban heavy work by children. It is hereby proposed that children under the age of 10 may not be hired for certain jobs. I'm going to support that movement. We have one party strongly going against it, but not completely. So new laws may ban children under 10 from heavy work environments. Um... Yeah, that's fine. Let's have a little look here. So, this, for the most part, looks as though it is going to go in favor of approve. I probably don't need to do anything here. What I would like to do, though, is look at edicts, because I would like to look into uh, safety authorities. Because this brings the running cost of the health service down, but makes it better. Interestingly, the Free Democrats will probably go against this. But I think we'll be fine. So I'm going to propose it. Yeah, Free Democrats are against. The Physiocrats are for. Again, I don't think that's something I'm going to need to really get involved in. If we look at other edicts, we could look at the Work Safety Act. Which again, the Free Democrats... No, that's the... No, that is the Free Democrats will probably be against. Let's see. Uh, we also have things like alcohol licensing, which brings the city funds income up a little bit. Um, what about tobacco licensing as well? I kind of want both. Because it seems like a good way to bring the funds up a bit. I'm actually going to cancel tobacco licensing right away. Because I, I only have so much that I can do in one go. 
No, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually put this vote to the table as well. So safety authorities, I'm probably gonna win. Uh, alcohol licensing, ugh, it's a bit less certain. So what I'll do is use some of my goodwill with these guys to plead with them and say that most citizens agree with this. Brings them closer to approving. Tobacco licensing, again, gonna use some, my, my remaining goodwill. I can go into the negative, but the further I go into the negative with these guys, the less they're gonna be inclined to do what I wanna do. So they are more towards approved than against, and I'm gonna leave it at that for the time being. So we're gonna let these votes go ahead a little bit. Let them fight amongst themselves, and then go in and look at it again. So, tobacco licensing currently looking like it will go my way. Alcohol licensing even more likely. Safety authorities also likely. This one more than likely gonna go my way as well. The only one I'm concerned about is tobacco licensing, and I really, I don't have enough goodwill to guarantee that they will uh, vote for me. However, the physiocrats I can praise and just get all of them on my side. So I'm feeling a little bit more confident about it at the moment. We'll go ahead and run the simulation, and uh, honestly, I'm just going to let this tick over. They're all done. Safety authorities seems to have gone my way. Even though it is a close one, even though the Free Democrats were majority against it, we still passed the vote. Good. Tobacco licensing. Also, gonna go my way. Free Democrats, again, completely against it, barring one of them. Wow, there was one vote in that. Wow. I have never seen a vote that close. Jeez. Okay, alcohol licensing. This one... Yeah, this one's a lot, a lot more certain by the looks of it. Four, wow, so the party. Yeah, four of them, four, that's not bad, okay. So I got everything there that I wanted to get, which is good. Uh, interestingly, that doesn't seem to have done good things for our income. But I think we're fine. We have just got the telegraph, which is good. The next thing I'm going to want to get is going to have to be probably thermodynamics because I do want to be able to get density selection for my districts. Although gas infrastructure would be good as well. Um, but I am going to go thermodynamics. So start my research into that. And uh, let's see then, what else do we want to do? We have a little bit of residential demand. So what I might do is come into here and propose that we modify the district to take out the industrial zoning. Bring residential demand to 45, 85%, sorry. And then confirm, confirm, propose. And I can put this to the vote. And this will go straight through. Or I can just use my personal funds, which is nothing. I think I'm going to do it. Gonna get rid of the industry in there, which is gonna hurt my income a bit. And let residences and commercial buildings pop up in there. Um, oh, that really hurt my income, actually. Let's speed up the game a little bit. And see if we can maybe fix that. That actually didn't do as much as I wanted it to. Oh, dear. We should be fine, though. I can go to Kill Ridge, and I can say that we can maybe expand the amount of industry in there. It was probably a really bad idea to do that. You've been sent a gift from tr some tropical Caribbean island. When I go to the port to collect it, I find out it's a live llama. Congratulations on your mayorship. I wish you a long and successful career. As a token of my goodwill, I sent you Hector. Treat him well. Uh, yes, I will keep Hector. Thank you very much. Okay. So I have actually hurt my monthly budget balance. Considerably. Uh, I really should have invested in industry a bit more. Maybe we bring industry back to this area. What is this? Low happiness, low employment. Yeah, we need more industry. All right, let's bring industry to Kill Ridge. Let's do that. We haven't really got money, but I won't need to worry too much about that. Um, let's just bring industry to all of that. Confirm the zoning, confirm, propose, and personal funds. So that's going to let us bring a bunch of industry to that area. Obviously going to hurt the income a little bit. But as the industry grows, 
we should see houses grow as well. Uh, do we ban heavy work for... Yeah, we do. We got this. No problem. So that party, again, was completely against it. But we did ban heavy work for under 10-year-olds. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, thermodynamics. Let's have ourselves a look. My city administration needs to make a decision about the interior of the forthcoming railway station. Aesthetic, Imperial, Swirelian. I'm going to say Swirelian since we are, that's the style that we are. Uh, so nationalists will like that, basically. I got some goodwill with the Swirelian party. I have citizens that are more likely to vote for the, Swir the young Swirelian party. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So what this is, is uh, the young Swirelian party and the old Swirelian party are basically, uh, they are political parties, but they aren't in charge. They don't have seats in what is effectively Congress. Uh, that's interesting. Physiocratic party won again, no worries. Ah, there's money recovering, that's what I want to say. So yeah, getting rid of all that industry was, oh, conservatives provoke me. A commoner as a mayor is too much to take for Beaumont. They use every opportunity to refer to your lowly birth and seek to embarrass you. I can focus on learning etiquette. I can, I don't give a rat's ass about them. I don't give a rat's ass about them. I couldn't care less. Like that's my life motto as well. I've had a lot of people that are like, oh, you're this or you're that, or YouTube's dumb or your taste in music's dumb. I don't care. I don't care. I'm the, like in this case as well, I'm the mayor. I got, I am in charge. The, 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 the emperor put me in charge. Uh, so we have thermodynamics. Let's go for this so we can get the density choices for districts. It's gonna take a little while longer, but that's fine. Uh, we are getting some money. We have got some commercial demand. So that's fine. Uh, admittedly, it was a bit of a mistake to get rid of industry the way I did. But we are now recovering. And we're recovering in a pretty good way. So I think, you know, what I did, whilst not ideal, it's worked out in the end and I managed to fix it before it became too much of an issue. Uh, let's have a look at some of these stats, though. So, city security isn't great. Um, oh, steam and speed. What have we got? So, a railroad is being built to kill Ganon. And soon, there will be trains enabling the fast transport of people and goods. Who knows what kind of changes that might bring. How do I feel about the railroad? I feel like every citizen should have access to trains. And that makes me a populist. Okay. I'm fine with being a populist. I would say I speak on behalf of the people. Oh, we're making over 10,000, 11,000, Jesus. Okay. 13,000, I'd say we're doing all right here. Okay. Uh, we do have this commercial demand. I wonder if I could get away with building another district. I do, I do genuinely wonder. Although that might be a case of expanding a little bit too quickly. Although this guy, hold on a minute, let's pause the game. Things are going very, very quickly here. Uh, residential, low employment. I'm hovering over you, what have you got to say about you? Nothing, all right. Some of these guys don't really have much to say, do they? So you have low employment. There's no info popping out about, up about some of these guys. Low employment. So there is a bit of low employment. Yeah, they want commercial buildings. Okay, um, I guess let's try and create a new district. Could I get away with having a district that size? Like down to there, then down to there. Area too small. Um, so bring it down to there. Bring that over to there. Can I get away with that? District is an illegal shape. Still an illegal shape. Oh, I totally can. Now that is a big district. That is a big district. But that could be really good. That's exciting. It's a bit expensive though. But I think we'll be fine. Um, we don't want industry. Not in this one. And I want a 50-50 split for uh, everything. So it's gonna be mixed. The entire thing is gonna be mixed zoning. And it's only 12K a month as well, which we can't afford. Confirm. 
we could put a clinic in there. Um, which I might do, honestly. It's expensive, though. Let's come back to that, because we can add this stuff later. So we'll get services later. Oh, it is 33k a month. That's fine. Let's propose it anyway. We are likely going to win this. I could use my personal funds to sort of fast track it. But I'm going to put it to the vote. Because I want to keep everyone involved. I want to keep the politicians involved. Want to make sure that they're happy enough. Uh, we're going to get most citizens agree with this, which pushed them a little bit in our favor. We're going to use our goodwill to say the city really needs it. And I think at that point, we've pretty much secured the deal. What is this? Uh, what have we got? So, a new metal processing method is making it easier and cheaper to produce high quality metal. I want to initiate uh, initiate security inspections to ensure only quality furnaces are made. That seems like a good idea. We don't want people going to making furnaces all willy nilly and making really bad quality ones. Uh, so the new district proposal is on the table. It looks like it's going to go our way. Every party. There we go. Every party sided with it. We have a new district. Which is good. Obviously, it's going to cost us some money off the bat. But if all goes to plan and it builds the way it needs to build, we shouldn't need to worry about this. It is hereby proposed that women shall be allowed to hold property titles. I support this. Everyone seems to support this. Good. Good. That's what I want to see. What I'd also really like to see is this district filling itself up a little bit so that we can uh, get out of the negative again. Let's have a look. What is this? Wedding, holiday, or not? You proposed to a lady you've been courting, and she said yes. The wedding is due in a couple of months, but now it's time. It is time to decide whether I will take a wedding holiday or not. I would be the first of my lineage to do so, but then again, you are the mayor and should be entitled to it. I'm going to say a short honeymoon. Which has actually lost me some goodwill with the physiocratic party. Um, but I'm seen as a bit more of a progressive than I was originally. Now, in this right to own property thing, that doesn't look like I'm going to have to get involved at all. It looks like the council is going to decide to go uh, basically the way I want them to go. Which is, yes, women should be allowed to own property. Also looks like we're making some pretty considerable money here, which is good to see. So, uh, this seems like it's going very well. Once we get this vote in on the women owning property thing, I think we can call it there for this episode. And, of course, you can let me know if you want to see more of this, because I would absolutely love to play more of this on the channel. Uh, so, let's have a quick look. We do need to get, uh, the rights of men. We could use some gas infrastructure for gas lighting and all that stuff. Uh, sanitation is also something that would be useful as well. So we'll get gas infrastructure. And, uh, let's go back to the city view and see what we can do. Now, we are making, like I said, considerable money. Uh, what is this about the bridge? A new railroad bridge is being built. But can this bridge actually withstand the weight of a train? A member of the Conservative Party, Josef Weintrinker, has publicly ridiculed the project, saying that the bridge will collapse under the first train to pass over it. I'm going to ask the master builder to build some supporting structures, which has given us a bon bonus to the security service for, I think that's all citizens of plus one. Okay. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do as well, just before we wrap it up there for today. I want to modify this district. I would like to give them a grammar school. Although we do already have one. Maybe a clinic would be a better idea. Because we don't actually have any active healthcare. So maybe a clinic would be an idea for there. Although it is more expensive. How much more expensive was it? A clinic is 20,000 versus 14. Either way, uh, it looks like we can afford it. So I think I will add a clinic just to, uh, just to there. Confirm. Propose. Uh, I could use some personal funds. It is 500,000, though. So I'm going to put that to a normal vote. Which is another vote I shouldn't really need to uh, interfere with. Because it looks like it's going to go through either way. So uh, the right to own property vote has gone through for women. 
and women are officially, by the looks of this, yep, going to be able to own property, which is beautiful, beautiful stuff. So, we are very much a progressive thinking society, which I approve of. Either way, ladies and gents, I am going to leave it there for today. So thank you kindly for watching. This has been Urban Empire Part 1. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more of this, do let me know. If you like the video, do feel free to click that like button. Don't forget to share it on social media. The Physiocrats have won again, surprising absolutely nobody. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>